Electricity is a miraculous thing. Imagine a world without it. No cars, no computers. Chemical reactions would not occur. Light wouldn't exist. Your brain wouldn't work and you couldn't use any of your muscles. The whole universe relies on electricity to function. But what actually is electricity? People have known about electricity for hundreds of years. Simple things like the shock of touching a doorknob or lightning in the sky. But it was Benjamin Franklin who first described electricity as the electric fire or electric fluid. Substances with an excess of the electric fluid would become charged particles. But to understand how this works, we have to look at the basic building blocks of our universe, atoms. Atoms are the smallest particles of matter. So small, in fact, that it takes one million of them to make up the width of one human hair. Atoms have a nucleus at the center, which consists of positively charged protons and uncharged neutrons. The combination of these determines the atom's type. Now around the nucleus are a cloud of electrons, which are negatively charged. Molecules prefer to balance the positive and negative charges. However, where there are a number of electrons outweigh the number of protons, the atom becomes negatively charged. Likewise, an atom with few electrons becomes positively charged. Although atoms are really small, you can see their effects on a very large scale. Grab a balloon and rub it on your head for a few seconds. The extra electrons in your hair are transferred to the balloon, and as a result, you can see it stick onto a positively charged object. Electricity is the flow of electrons from one molecule to another. Many molecules have free electrons, electrons which are not very tightly held to the atoms. Molecules pass electrons to each other by taking an electron from the one behind it. You can kind of think of it like an electron bucket brigade. Some molecules, called conductors, can pass electrons better than others, while some do not pass electrons well and are called insulators. Electrons easily pass through many substances, like copper, steel, air, or even water, but have a hard time through other things like wood, glass, and rubber. If you want to see electrons being conducted yourself, all you need is a package of lifesavers, mint ones work the best, and a dark room. Crunch the lifesavers with your mouth open and you'll see sparks fly. That is because the charged pieces of sugar arc with other pieces in your mouth, causing the air to become excited and light up. For more videos about electricity or ham radio, visit yarca.org.